All right, welcome back to Gravity Ghost for the final episode. It's going to be the dog guardian planet, not well, guardian galaxy, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, sorry, I said so many times that I was going to finish the series, but now I'm finally doing it. Turns out I'm a terrible liar. Terrible, terrible lying person. All right, quick star. We have a windmill visual. Uh, the level's just called windmill. <laughs> Hammer. This game really is not... Uh, that was a little... Ominous. This game really is not about difficulty, is it? It's just a series of visuals and sort of a neat little story. You kind of expect it to escalate, but it kind of doesn't. Oh, I guess that one that one challenge we played was a little tougher. I guess the challenges are where some of the difficulty comes from. There we go. The door was actually coming in and out in time with the uh, hammer. What a strange visual. Alrighty then. We're at the last heart puzzle. I need to get that thing out. Uh, what's the pa best path to get out? This, these are getting a little more complicated to look at, so I'm a, a little... I kind of just don't want to try to solve it in advance. I, kinda, I think I'm just going to start... Let's see, I'm just going to start moving outward as much as I can. And as it, as it moves further towards the outside, it should become clearer which way I need to go to proceed. Uh... Am I going to be able to get back over from there? Yeah. So I need to get to the top, where the opening is. That's a dead end. Oh no. Oh no, did I ruin everything? Maybe not. Oh, that's going to be a dead end too. Uh... Oh god, I can fall through it now. That's not confusing. That's not confusing at all. <laughs> that's going to be part of the puzzle, isn't it? Let's see. Uh, that might be part of it. Oops. Go through. Alright. No, come back over here. Okay, this is not going as well as it could be. Oh, maybe I just loop around. Yeah, it has to come back around. So I think I have to make it go in a layer before we can continue. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. See, it's like you and me are... Ah, oh, it's another dead end. I was about to say you and me are one, but I think you and me are through is what's happening here. This is probably going to be one of those ones where you have to go out and then loop back into the middle-ish. And then sort of loop back out from scratch. But having been on... But having made it to another side... Or I'm an idiot, and I'm just backtracking onto my own progress. These are both entirely possible. Come on. We can do this, maybe? Oh. It always end, it always rolls straight into the dead dead end unfortunately because it's just such an awkward shaped maze. No, it always yeah the moment you make it go around any corner you want to go around it then accelerates head first into a dead end. It's like a symbol of her life. It's metaphors in gaming, or something, or not at all. All right, we're done. Terraforming plants no longer uses up hair. Oh, they ran out of elements to give me. They're just like, eh. Now it doesn't have a cost. Okay. I guess th it makes sense they did that because now you don't have to worry about uh. That means it's kind of like, oh, well, you got to the end of the game. Now just don't worry about uh, the game potentially breaking because we didn't balance how much hair there is in it or something like that. Hey, door. You want, you want to let me out? Oh, there's a still there's a star over here somewhere, huh? There you are. I'm so focused on the maze, I completely forgot that these levels have stars. Hey, buddy. Okay, yep. that's not the way I was good wanting to, to go at all. Come on, come on. No, no, no. And, oh, you repelled me. I forgot about that. Oh, you scumbag. Oh, you little. No, no, I do not appreciate that one bit. False. Yeah, can't defeat that power, can you? Those anti-grav plants would probably be really frustrating to deal with if you don't have the uh, the falling power. Oh, that one's gonna. Oh, right, it's dear guardian. Come to me, dear guardian. Please. Please. Alright, there we go. So yeah, what they do is they, for those that don't know, they just match your controls. The the When you find a guardian animal, it just matches the exact button input you're doing. But the rules are different as you pro progress through the game, because you gain a bunch of powers that the animal doesn't, which makes it even weirder to try to deal with that. Oh, I completely missed that. Let's try this again. Oh, this is... Alright, yeah, this, this is becoming less and less space-like and more and more just... Surreal and bizarre. There we go. So I guess you you do have to have some of these powers to progress, because 
maybe this that maybe that's the point of this level specifically is maybe you need to have powers to beat these levels specifically so they're making sure that you've beaten all the other worlds first why can't i fall down is that sent is the center of this area repelling me is that what's going on huh i was really stuck for a moment there all right as stuck as you can get in this game i guess hello lighthouse this is all just symbol this is all just symbolism about the uh Related to the main story, and all the issues that are happening there. Am I attracted to the center of the lighthouse? Spin! Oh, look at all them bones. This is a little bit concerning as a visual for children. Alright, let's see if I can just jump up. There we go. What is that? What did that diamond thing do? Do I want that? Does it come back? Or did I already grab it just now? I might have already grabbed it. Alright. Back down we go. We need to find this person's deer planet. Oh, deer planet. Yeah, oh yeah, we collected the diamond. Whatever that does. Time flies. Where's the where's the star at? Oh, it's in the middle of this, of course, like it usually is. Just gonna hover back and forth. Careful not to attach to anything. Come on, and dive bomb. Gimme. Yeah. This is getting weirder. The whole background is just trees at this point. Nothing about this even resembles space anymore. And the gravity actually feels a little weird, but that could be... May or may not be intentional. Alright, this is the home of the Deer Guardian. What do you write for a dead animal in space? An obituary! I'm working on my material. An obituary? You're fired. You're fired. Also, you're really chill about what's going on around here. Aren't we trying to save the life of people in your in your day to day? Oh, the virtues of non-linear storytelling. Come on. Ah, that's enough of them. <laughs> Don't need to collect all of them. Oh, all right. I can't do it yet because I need to get. I need to get the the uh, star. Oh, does the, is the star only visible when it goes through this? It might only be visible when it goes through this thing right here. Yeah, nailed it. Figured that out really quickly. I guess that when you only have a couple of mechanics on screen at once, you definitely can figure out exactly what the game wants you to do at any given moment. Not a lot of ambiguity or confusing details to get distracted by. This wouldn't hurt so much if you'd let me brush your hair once in a while. Oh, goodness, Iona, there are leaves in here. Those are my leaves. Put them back. <sighs> At least let me put a bit of color on you. I know you don't like him. Can you at least put on a happy face? For my sake? Why don't you paint one on me? And that was the last thing she said to her before she died. Is how so many things go in these worlds. Oh, do I just walk in the middle? Is that it? Well, that wasn't a whole lot to do, was it? Is there something here that I'm missing? Oh, I can't go in the star yet, can I? Or right, maybe it's just fading out temporarily. I think I can do it now. There we go. That was the Arcturus. Let's go for the teapot. We're almost done here. Last few levels. How much stuff is this? Whoa, which way does gravity go right now? Oh, these are all tiny water planets. Oh, this is really weird. Oh, this is the weirdest physics we've had so far. Hit <laughs> On the planet, and... Grab. It's a teapot that's pouring water at a bunch of kettles. Oh, this is weird. If I just hold the trigger here, the weirdest things are just gonna happen here for the longest time. I need to jump out of here. Escape before things get more confusing. There we go. We need to go find... There's bones. We need to go... Uh, we don't get the, uh... The spirit until we get to the next level. Non-linear gameplay. 
Hello, Star. You're very hard to find. Goodbye, Star. That's very hard to find. Come on. It's hard to explain how weird the physics feels right now. All right. Gotta get that soul first. It's really freaky looking when it just stands up for you when you don't have its soul yet. And it's just like, I am here for yours. I don't need my old one anymore. Come here. Come here. There we go. Oh, there's the spirit. Hanging out way over there on that little planet. If I co if I approach it carefully, I can get to it without... Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is a little bit awkward. Come on, please. Please. You're being highly impolite. But, you know, I have a little trick here. I don't I don't, don't alarm you, but we I can just go through the planet now. Completely and completely getting rid of that that annoyance we've had in the past. The new tricks you learn. Alright. Careful. Now let's return back. I'm sure this will also be a really heartwarming and happy story. Where I won't feel like a terrible person. Cause I never do. Welcome back! I moosed you! <laughs> I cracked myself up. Literally, there are fissures in my skin right now. It's really tragic. It's like that first class movie. They squeezed Diamond Lady until she started to break. I don't think that- I don't think you can do that to diamonds that easily. They're kinda... They're a little hard. They're a little hard? As in like, they're like the top of the hardness scale? My friend Moe's gonna have a problem with that. Geology joke! Problem? I know the way from here anyway. I'm running away and never coming home. I hid some snacks in the treasure box, plus Eddie taught me what's good to eat, so... <laughs> we can make it pretty far in the night if we take the rowboat. Hey, come back! Where are you going? Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! Wait, where's Iona? Boy, is that you? Just the wind. You never know what a wild animal is capable of. And mark my words, food will bring them nothing, even all the way up here. Did I just get eaten by the mangy fox from earlier in this story? Cause that- that's a- That's a twist. There's no fox here, cause the fox murdered me. Is that what's going on here? What the- what is happening? So it's a fox guardian, not a- not a dog guardian. Do I just join it together? Nope. Nope, just keep spinning around. Wait, how do I reverse it? It's reversed. Do I have to go through it? Huh. Oh, jumping flips it. Okay. Learning important things here. Weird. What is happening? Things are getting weird. What if I go through the planet? Huh. Oh wait, no, it's already facing the right way. I'm just crazy. Wait, how do I move it? Oh, it only moves when I'm in midair. So the rules change each time. It's not really moving correctly. 
I'm having some troubles here. So I have to sort of like... I think I have to, I think I have to jump while, like I have to jump left around the planet, basically. Like this. And then I guess I just have to drop, because if I keep moving, then I, it like makes it go the wrong way. If I just press the direction when I'm going over it, there we go. There we go. What a, this, what a weird feeling. Oh, what is happening? Oh my god. I am getting a tad bit confused now by what I'm looking at. Are they going to lock into place or do I have to get them all in the lo right location at the same time? Oh my god, I have to get them all in the right location at the same time. What is happening? Alright. Set down. There we go. So blue has to be facing that way. Does blue move? Oh, what in the world? So blue moves this way. How do I get yellow to... So you, oh god, now they're all moving. I'm gonna lose my mind figuring this one out. Alright. So now, now, wait, now they're all moving? But sometimes only some of them move? What the hell? So, what is happening? I am... <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Sometimes some of them move, and sometimes other ones move. Right now, only yellow's moving. So how do I get only blue to move? So wait, I only get blue... Now blue's moving. What did I do differently? So yellow moves both ways, blue moves... Blue moves... Okay, blue only moves in one direction, apparently. Forward. So I'm gonna, like, sort of ratchet... Like, gra ratchet this around. Actually, since I have this down, what I should do is... I should make sure that red is in place. There we go. Huh, huh, huh. There we go. Let's try a touchdown. There we go. Oh, is red back out of place again? God damn it. Uh, careful. Care. There we go. Red's pretty much in place now. Now I can use this tactic, where I sort of... Ratchet it in place. To get blue and yellow together? Come on. Because blue only moves when I go in one direction, but yellow follows me no matter what, so yellow has to be last. Please work. Yeah! Now what happens? Oh, oh my god. This just became a Beatles video. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> they gave me the three primary colors, and I have to fit them into these tertiary colors. So I need to figure out how to put... All right, first let's put red inside of orange. First priority. Yeah, there we go. Stay in there, or, in, yellow, or red. You're more or less there. Nope, tweak a little bit. It's a little hard to land when you're also trying not to press any directions to tweak red anymore. Come on. Yeah, no, huh, no, uh, this is such a weird feeling. Stop spinning, lady. All right, yellow, get in there. Come on. Is that not close enough for you, game? Why? Is that, was that a successful orange? That was a successful orange. Now I need to get yellow and blue together. I can sort of ratchet them together. Come on, blue. You can do it. Just gotta warp blue the round. I should have done purple first, because it's gonna take a while to get blue all the way around the planet again. I'll survive, though. Alright. Careful. Successful green. Okay. Now we need to get red all the way to purple. Come on, red. Come on, red. You can do it. How does this game work? I'm not really... <laughs> it's whenever I'm in midair that I'm least clear on how to make a, uh, one of the foxes rotate. And I think that might be because I'm using an Xbox controller. It might be, it might be, make more sense when you're using WASD, but something about... Even though it has Xbox controls that are custom, like, that are completely different from WASD, this particular game seems to kind of lose its mind when you try and do that. Red, get a little more closer. There we go. Yellow, join in there. Did we win? Am I too far off? Oh wait, yellow's the wrong one. Shit. <laughs> I have to get blue over there. I forgot what purple is. My bad. 
This is a surprisingly complicated final level. Oh right, black is every color. Well, black is not every color, but combined. Red, uh, white is every color combined. So black is the absence of color. But I'm just gonna accept that they want to put them all together, probably. Careful. Huh, stop moving. No. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. I just need to get red there. Careful. No, red, get back in place. Please, no. Ah, this is so awkward. I don't know if I like this part very much. It's so weird to control. There we go. Ah, he's still far, he's too far off still, isn't he? Careful hopping, there we go. One quick hop to rotate blue. All right. Now we just need to get blue in there with, 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 with yellow. Is this the final puzzle in the game? Might be. Oh. Please, Fox Guardian, have you seen Boy? Is he anywhere in the universe? Why are you looking at me like that? What are you saying? Oh no. The lantern. Boy well, must have thought his family was dead. But you're not, are you? Is there still time? There must be, otherwise you wouldn't be talking to me. I'll save you, I swear. And Voy... He's in the black hole. I'm gonna get him. I'll, I'll find a way to escape the black hole. You'll see. So that lantern I dropped burned everything. Well... Boy, did I ruin everything myself, didn't I? Alright, we, we need to get back to the black hole. We finished all the guardian planets, only to reveal that we were the monster all along. Which was kind of to be suspected. What's this gonna lead to? Alright, there's the final one. It's just covered in fire. Uh-oh. <gasps> Hiccup, why? Stop! <clears throat> what do I do to this? Alright, we start with we start off with water. It's gonna be multiple elements, isn't it? No? There. The rain won't hold back the fire for long, but... I know this place. This is Boy's home. You! No. No, it, w it wasn't your fault. I didn't know he had a family, too. I thought I was his family. Hey, what are you doing? You've got to get out of here. Go! Run! There's fire all around us. What else do you want? What else can I do? There's no time! They're not leaving. So they're about to die. That's not a good... That's not a good end point. How do we fix this? Do I go outside? Oh. No, that's just the, the thing where it always pulls back. As far as I can tell, this is over. Must be missing something in the black hole to do? Looking around... Oh, I didn't finish the tower, did I? Whoops. What do you need? You need diamond element? That's a wind element, isn't it? Which one's diamond? Here we go. The lighthouse lens is like a gem. Tell me about science, and I pretended I didn't want to listen. I was listening. Whoa, those port, those particles on the screen. So we just created some sort of black hole. We created a light, a lighthouse that should cut, fix everything. Oh wow! I don't even know what's going on anymore. I just assume we're saving everything now. 
Vem kan sila för utan vind? Vem kan ro utan oro? Vem kan skiljas från hjärnens in? Utan att fälla tårar. Vem kan segla för utan vind? Vem kan ro utan oro? Vem kan skiljas från vännens sin? Utan att fälla tårar. Jag kan segla för utan vind. Jag kan ro utan oro. Men att skiljas från vännen vind. Utan att fälla tårar. It's my fault that you died. It's my fault that I died. Well, someone asked me when I was going to finish this series because it was such a calming experience. Do you feel calm now? Oh, I had to catch him. Or my last animal spirit, the fox I've been going after this whole time. Oh, where's he gone? Come back to me, boy. We're so close. I can cheat still. That's still, that's still an option for me. <laughs> So to recap the story in a linear fashion, a little girl's parents died and she was raised by her sister who also had her own goals because she, she was twisted between uh, 
the the the, the sister was tw was a uh, was cut between raising the family that she was sort of stuck with on accident and pursuing her own goals and ambitions in life of just having a family and having a life in general. Uh, little sis little girl got jealous or uh, vengeful, ab uh, spiteful about that. Wa uh, decided to run away, got herself killed, but then got superpowers as a result and was able to save everyone else from her, was it basically able to save everyone else from her own mistakes? That's certainly a thing. Oh look, Anthony Birch edited the part of the story. He's the guy that wrote uh, Borderlands 2. We have Logan Cunningham, which is the, the narrator from Bastion and Transistor. Ashley Birch, which is Tiny Tina on Borderlands 2, and actually she's in a ton of, she's actually a voice, a voice actor in a ton of things now. Alright, well that was Gravity Ghost, and I think that's about all I have to say for that, but thanks for watching guys like always. I'll see you next time. It's a charming little game. Fishing this side of Kiev, uh, 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 Michigan. Um, don't you need a license for this? You're just a barrel of laughs, huh, kid? Oh, look how bright the stars are tonight. Must be the ionizing radiation. It's the Guardians! Big giant sky monsters that keep us safe and make giant poops! They should have sent a poet. Hickory Mail! How about you read it out loud to me, Pep? Congratulations. Congratulations on your disco very. In accord dance with your wishes. Comet number C19, um, more numbers, 17P will be known as Iona's Comet. We look forward to seeing it again when it returns in 12 years. Best regards, the int intern International Astronomical Union. Hiding behind a black hole, slingshotted into our galaxy, staying only a moment, returning to our cradle in the stars. Huh? Look here, Pep. Tell me what you see. Twelve years. We'll see her again in twelve years. <laughs>